Uh, I'll be for a little bit before I have to go off and go to sleep. I'm kinda tired. Oh. Uh, it's, it's, it's still only at 8.30. <laughs> That'll be way too early. Um, just think I'm just thinking of that one clip from Aladdin where it's like, you idiots, we all have swords. Just a dull month for my end. Probably uh, which the Wii U and 3DS. Uh, that's tomorrow. There we go. My fucking mic wasn't muted. Uh, my Discord uh, mic on OBS was unmuted. Um, I didn't say much. Uh, I just uh, I was thanking uh, uh, Fuentes for the tier one, asking me how it was going, and I was talking about how it's April, so I'm always fucking miserable during this month. And uh, JC, I was thanking you for the tier one. I was wondering why you were playing Federation Force like now of all places, and I'm assuming it has something to do with the 3DS servers being shut down. Yeah, some people are scrambling to get the data packets archived. If you gotta do it now, do it now. All right, uh, let me switch over to the main feed, and then we'll get this party started. Well, party looks more like a shindig where everyone starts to pay for a ticket. <laughs> And yeah, I understand the thing about April for me. It's the month that's in between me and one well, of the two months in between me and my summer vacation. Yeah, man. Like that in May. I know, like, as a content creator, folks would be like, oh, I see. I figured January would be at least for a month. And they're like, don't get me wrong. It is more than possible that I can have two least for months of the year. But, like, January is its own thing because, like, on the business side of it. But April, <sighs> it's like all my years of living, I've always associated April with just bad shit. So it's like, fuck this month, and I want it to be May already. <laughs> Same here. Can we Same get way. it just be May already? Uh, uh, I'm good, thanks. I don't need to age more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could we just speed it up to June? Well, no, don't June's speed up to June enough. because I, I, I'm, I'm still progging the Omega protocol in 14, <laughs> and, and I don't want to. Uh, our, our deadline is before Dawn Trail, but I want to clear it way before we, uh, you know, get the Dawn Trail. Is it because of a terrible you? April Fool's Day incident? I wish it was something that innocuous. I'm gonna go. It's just, just bad things all together. I can't really get into it without getting super personal. I don't want to. But yeah. um, yeah, that, that's that, that's generally how we're. Anyway, uh, let's get the streams started before we continue the conversation and shit like that because we know we got load screens and other shit like that to talk about stuff and catch up, that sort of thing. Um, so when we last left off, we were we finally finished all the damn silver metal collecting with silver, but now we have now we're on the stage cleanup. And unfortunately, I got stuck pretty fucking hard on tropical jungle last session, so we are just continuing when we left off last time, and uh. So there's really else nothing I can say other than I have to it's not just a matter of speed enemy score I gotta collect more rings 
and I just got to find like the most optimal fucking pathway to get through this shit. The problem is, is that I, I just don't fucking know what it is. I just don't fucking know what it is. Uh, Elite Squid, Pete Capella, Silver's VA will be visiting my hometown this month. Now, is Pete Capella the OG Silver voice actor from 06? Or are we talking about like New Age Silver? With like the shiny silver chrome rims. It looks like this Lotus will help me jump based on how long I charge my psychokinesis. Uh, P. Capella was the first. Okay, that's cool. I like to meet P. Capella. Because I don't think he did a bad job of silver, all things considered. It's just that, you know, you, the, you story, the, the story is just poorly written and yeah. uh, not very well directed, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I was actually just kind of thinking to myself, like, what if Tropical Jungle for, like, Silver's S ranking was, like, the fucking Cyberspace World 1-2? Like of the fucking game, where it's like it's silver second stage, but it's the hardest fucking thing in the world to ask rank. Oh, uh, Donkey Kong Country returns first level trial for time runs. Really? Is that also like unnecessarily difficult? If you want to get the absolute best one, yes. If you want. <laughs> How do you know you have the best one? Uh, you have little sparkles next to your star icon. No. And, you know, when you got to go fast on a game that relies on you, you know, throwing the Wiimote around like a freaking idiot. No, I wouldn't say the Sega of America moment. bad voice direction because it's Sega of Japan and Sonic Team is Japanese that does all the fucking game development. Sega of America, that's just fucking PR. <laughs> they got no actual involvement in the game as far as I'm aware. And it would have been their East Coast studio that would have done the mm -hmm. dubbing for this. Or whatever the four kids equivalent was back then. Uh, Badufa's best. Thank you for the bets. Much appreciated. And I think it was I that contribution. I got a hype train going. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, and Rick, thank you for the uh, tier one for 72 months, six years. Yeah, you don't have to fucking say it out loud, though. <laughs> uh, you as well, Mr. King Jacob. Uh, the next load's great. I'll, uh, I'll get to thanking some more subs. All right, so I've, I've cleared this whole fucking area clean this one particular section so now I can just ride the turtle and continue where I left off because I'm still trying to I'm still trying to figure out the sweet spot of s ranking the stage because I think I kill every enemy and it's I still don't have enough for a score I I, I don't know if I need to <laughs> fuck me I felt that sneeze coming for like a minute and it was driving me nuts holy shit um, I don't, I'm not sure if it's, if it's time related because, uh, one time I, I, I killed things along the way to the exit as fast as I possibly could. That turtle's going away. And I just don't fucking know what the balance is I need to be approaching in order to S rank the stage because I was here for at least an hour last session just getting high a ranks and that's not enough anymore like we're not we're not playing sonic adventure 2 or we're not playing heroes we're not even playing shadow a ranks are not enough subtitle a really really fucking bland james bond movie <laughs> Ah, yes, the spy who took me to Olive Garden. <laughs> okay, but they're paying, right? <laughs> because if they are, that's, that doesn't sound like a bad time. I said exposure, not credit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sean Connery, you're an asshole. Uh, uh, didn't quite catch on as, as much as shaken, not stirred. <laughs> I'm I'm legit serious because I I fucking took damage there. I need to we need to reset because we need rings. What are you doing? Disarming you? Yeah. Well, I'm stopping your run. <laughs> Mutual assurance destruction, fucker. Block this overhead, you fucking casual. Yeah, I did spend two minutes going in a circle because I have not approached this stage since last session. Because I'm not fucking playing this game off screen without it being related to content creation. Because I'm so fucking tired, Dad. Looks like I can use this to go up. 
Do you play other states and you like I it don't fun? understand like why give me like why give me these shortcuts to go like to the higher altitudes when like S ranking this fucking stage requires that I go everywhere anyway. You know, I would love nothing more than, than to just fucking ignore all this shit. And just go about my merry business and killing just what robots are in the way and get awarded for an S rank because I did the stage fast enough. But it's like that's not enough for this though. I might be able to get around on this turtle. Oh is that turtle? Who is that turn up? No, it's a turtle. How seven rebirth going for you? I don't know. Actually, I haven't had time to play it over the last couple of weeks. It's just been a very fucking miserable couple of weeks for me, Emil. Uh, just in terms of like just getting shit done and handling stuff. Like personally speaking, I can't I can't get into all the details. Uh, but. Oh, I'm sorry. I just kind of blanked there for a second. <laughs> Have I done the 16 event and 14? Of course. I've only done it for Joan. I was going to live stream it with Fermani. Uh, probably later in the week because I still haven't done it yet. And I want to archive that uh, in terms of like re recordings and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not I'm not doing the Stormblood stuff until the end of April. I mean, it's a nice event. Oh, yeah, I want to kick off the end of my leaser fucking month of the year with something that makes me happy. Am I looking forward to Mania Night 2? Uh, yeah, I, I thought Mania Night, I thought uh, WrestleMania last night was, you know, it was pretty enjoyable. Um, a little slow, like all things considered, but I, I'm thinking they're playing the long game with a lot of payoff for tonight. At least that's the hope. I mean, the only thing I know about their mania is that picture of the rock crying on the sitting on the floor crying like a baby. Oh, it's because no, because he got he took a spear from Roman Reigns, and as you know, getting hit by a spear is the equivalent of getting shot. So you know, Rock the Funny. Dwayne Johnson was just reacting appropriately. Well, it wasn't he just in the media a few days ago moaning about something. Uh, well, he was also just probably playing up a bit to build up hype for WrestleMania. No, I think it was more towards the um, side of things. I have no idea what you're talking about. Politics. I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? That batch of just super kicks wasn't the greatest of all time. I was talking about this uh, last night during our watch party, but man, the super kick really is just played the fuck out at this point. You know, it, the super kick now is going through the same shit that the DDT has gone through. The DDT used to be a finisher. I think if by like Jake the Snake Roberts, at least he, he had like the most devastating one. But now uh, the DDT is essentially just a wake up maneuver or a transitional maneuver. This everybody fucking has a super kick though, and it's like it's it has so much fucking diminishing returns. The only ones that I think can pull off a good super kick are the Usos. Yeah, that was a call and everything woke. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, are, what, are they sleeping? Classy, Dwayne. Real classy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking about current day wrestling. Not like Shawn Michaels. I mean, that that's a given. But Shawn Michaels super kick was an era where the super kick wasn't so fucking overused. You know, back in the day, uh, the super kick was Shawn Michaels move, you know. But nowadays, everybody has super kicks. And it's like, I don't mind the super kick. It's like in the right hands or in the feet, I guess, in this case. Um, if you can make it work, if you can make it crunchy, then keep doing it. You know, it's just that I think it's something that I think a lot of wrestlers just kind of default to. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case. Even your grandmother can do a super kick. If my grandma could do a super kick, well, first off, I say, Grandma, you're alive. <laughs> but also, I don't like my grandma's got moves. <laughs> All right, do I want to bother? Yeah, I have to, dude. I have to fucking kill everything and I can't get hit. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, let's see what's missing on this list. If my grandpa, if my grandma came back from the dead to three kick me, it was probably deserved. Uh, that's entirely in Japanese. I don't recommend use those. That seems to be a Pikmin free demo. Uh, Splatoon test fires. Wii Sports Club Light. Is that all I'm missing? Fuck, dude. Hmm. I meant to go the other way because now I got to go back around, back to that rosebud. And I can. Oh my god, dude! Like, why? Why is it like that? Like, why is it? Why do I barely just get enough height here? Like, what the fucking shit is that? Is that? Am I supposed to go that way? I feel yeah. like I'm just barely making these goddamn ledges. I mean, we're asking for good level design in this game. I think we're already on a descending trend. No, it's like I think the level design for the most part is solid. Is that they don't accommodate every character on equal terms. This stage is fucking dog shit is silver. I hate this fucking stage. I remember that old rhyme of create the base, then copy and paste. <laughs> It works for Sonic Heroes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure why I thought that was a good idea. Like, I made it work, but that was really fucking reckless. Thank you, Silver the Philosopher. I say in the future they only have stormtroopers as marksmen. <laughs> you say that, but I was still fucking terrified out of my mind because all I gotta do is get dinked by an explosion. And that's it, it's over. This is dog shit. I'm, I don't think there's anyone near an S rank. Right, but I, took, I took too long. Nah, that's uh, no dice. Oh event. my god! Oh no! Ah! Hey! <laughs> First try, right? First try? You don't have a disagreement here? First try? Yeah, good, great. Oh, fuck me! I'll do it again in hard mode. No, we have to get the uh, silver medals, which means we I can take you... our time! <laughs> I thought you got all of them. No, no, we only got uh, fucking uh, six of them, I think. Well, we can check. Okay, April is your best month now. I fucking oh, love Christ. April. Oh, Christ. So now we've got to track down four of these things. Mm -hmm. Let me load the video up. Okay, is the timing right? Audio is muted. Let me load the shit in. Oh, my God. <laughs> that mm -hmm. stage was so fucking dog shit, dude. I was so miserable. Oh, my God. And I'm not even sure if that's the worst of it, you know? Because there are still, like, seven other stages that I have yet to uh, S rank, let alone fully complete. So now, thankfully, <clears throat> we're just in the silver medal hunting proportion, which means all we got to do is worry about getting the silver medals. We don't have to worry about getting a good time. That said, I already collected six of the silver medals while just fucking exploring through this shit, which means the other four are somewhere around here, but we cannot just strictly one-to-one -one follow a guide because I picked up some out of order. That's why we follow this guide's order, and now we can double-check everything. For example, if we go up this log and then hang a right at its apex, you should run into the first one if you haven't picked it up already. I've been up here so many fucking times, though. If we I didn't pick it up... Right. No, 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 I was killing the robot. But yeah, it should be just to the right there. Yeah, you've already got, yeah, already got that one. All right, where's number two? We're checking number two. They continue straight on ahead, and then, yeah, they get into this plant that you're going to. We then take this plant, we swing up this plant, and then we land on top of the ruins there. We then do two right turns to see the second metal on top of these ruins. Okay, so many times did I just say ruins in a single sentence? Fuck me. Well, like, I'll just play. I, will, I, I fucking clip through that fucking flower, but dude, like, I don't understand. To your right. right. To my right. And the right again. Should be at the end of this if you haven't picked it up already. Which picked it up already. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see where number three is. So we go back down towards the giant enemy that clapped you and ruined the first room with his hands. Uh, the white the robot? Room. Yep. In front of the um, crash wall. In front of the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the wooden gate. Uh, that is. 
It's to your right slightly, I think. It's right. Yeah, because I don't have to take the turtle. Nope. I, I can just fly over there. Uh, one second. It's, it's more over. just follow those robots. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I forget the fucking wooden gate's not loaded from a certain distance. Very draw distance. So I can't use it as a way mark. And then rather than going through the gate, we jump to the left of it, and then it looks like, yeah, you just follow that ruined path. Basic zigzag pattern. If I mean, you're just tuning in, if you're just tuning in, and you're wondering who the British guy is, you need to watch more streams. This is an experiment. <laughs> He's literally in almost all of my streams. <laughs> no respect, no respect. <laughs> Alright, so just jump to the left there, away from the gate. This would have never happened if I was a red bird. <laughs> uh, no, are we going past like, the gate? Uh, no, we're just following the ruins. Okay. You just jumped on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that checkpoint at the very least. No, but that, if it was a red bird, it... That would, it would be the um, Liverpool FC mascot, which is just a red lava bird, in which case I'd be all football. And it'd be like, <laughs> Liverpool! But no, thank you. I got that one. So, numero quattro, where are you at? Okay, we go back over. We take the checkpoint on the opposite side of that gate. We jump onto the plant that's straight ahead of it. Go to its full height. We will then see a ruin. Let's go in diagonal. We jump on that to see a lower plant attached to a tree. Which should be to your left. Yeah. Then... Do we take that? Yep. Oh, does that take me to those ruins over there? Because I see a silver metal over there. Uh, this might be it because it goes to um, like a ruin that's basically two rectangles. And then he jumps to the left of that, which, yep, yeah, that's probably the one. So from this, we then hang the left. Yeah, hold on, I'm waiting for my meter to recharge. Because I should be able to just hover from here. Oh, you'll reach that easy. Yeah. Did you hear about Yuji Naka? Apparently he's out. What, out of jail? I mean, as, as funny as it is, like, hearing news about him, like, going to jail for insider trading or some other shit like that, I ultimately don't care about the man. <laughs> he's a jerk. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, all right. Uh, where um, next? <coughs> Excuse me. We're going back the way we came, and then we jump off, go to those ruins that are two rectangles on the left. We walk right over them, jump down, and immediately before the next checkpoint, there's a stone square in the ground. You down just lift here, that you up. Mean? Yep. Okay. You lift that up, there'll be an invincibility and a metal bullet. Hmm. Which you've already got, very nice. So now we need to take the left path. Behind the left us. path? Okay. Yeah, because we need to ride the turtle. I think my favorite thing is the post where, like, breaking news of Judaka's broken out of a helicopter carry. It can be using improvised snowboard to escape. I see. That's interesting. I would follow that story. So, yeah, the turtle's supposed to be on this side, and you basically stay on them, and then there's just a metal floating in the water along his path. Like along these platforms, you know what I think about it? The opening of SA2 is Sonic's like white Brago moment from like the OG Simpson trial. Oh, yeah, you can just see it there in the distance. I don't really think about that. To your right. So you might be able to just get it without the turtle, but uh, that's a bit dicey. You'd have to right. uh, grab fucking... it and then 180 yourself. I don't know if I have enough meter to make that. Well,. I'm we a meter to get back. Although there is a lily pad over there. I think that's way too far for you to Yeah, it might be way like. too far. If only... Actually... No, there's no platform around here that's higher that I could just fall into the metal from. Actually... Hold on. I might be able to... Yeah, if right, I swing yeah, on this, one. if I swing on this bud and get to that platform with the one up, I can jump my way towards the metal and then hover my way to safety. That would work. Uh, that's the one asked how we are <sighs> in the chat. Yeah, we're fine. All right, we're good. Unfortunately, I think with the buds, you can only grab them from a certain angle because I am clearly touching this son of a bitch. Yeah, you'll have to get it from the left side. I think so. You might have to arc yourself in. Or it could just not fucking work, you know, that, that's also viable. Is this flower just fucking busted, dude? Like... I'm just trying to play the fucking game, man. Uh, 
I'm gonna go the long way around. I really don't want to die. See, I would think if it, if the collision for that bud was anywhere, I'd hit it just running in circles like I did there momentarily. But it, it wasn't enough. I'll be able to get it from the one. But the camera fucking snapped to the other side. I can't turn the camera here. Oh, guess we'll have to go blind. I guess. The silver metal above the water looks like something you're supposed to use a turtle to get. Yep, that's what I said. We have to use a turtle to get there. Unfortunately, he seems to be um, rather late on his punctuation. Yeah, uh, which means we have to get there through alternate means. And my original means was just to use the fucking, like, log. I see, no, I can, I can jump off of here. Hey. Yeah, you can get that from Yeah, there. so now we can just jump from here, and we should be able to hover our way to the lily pad. I mean, if he dies, he dies, but yeah. we kick the metal. That's what matters. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hey. There we go. Don't worry, Mr. Gravy. Krabs. They mean we're cooking with turtles. Uh, movie, uh, uh, was it anyway. movie a thoner? Uh, you're hosting a watch party on Discord, so I wonder, does that mean that the in-person watch party was just for night one? Yeah, uh, we were uh, we were hosting a watch party last night with a few friends of ours, uh, uh, but they were going to night two physically because they got tickets, but they're not going for both nights. So we figured, oh, why don't we just host a watch party for night one then, <laughs> in that case? Oh, let me get this checkpoint. All right, uh, where to? Uh, just continue along the log path straight ahead, and then... You'll see two white robots next to each other and a stone platform in the ground with a third one. Get rid of all three. And then in the hole in the ground, metal number seven. Uh, so it has to. So you have to kill all the robots for it to appear. Judging by the looks of it, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, this uh... is it. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> the Davy Jones with you. So how do I stop playing one game to play another game? We simply stop playing the game. Okay, so now from here, it looks like we use a box to get on top of the log that's nearby us. The metal number eight. So it's metal just nearby us. So the, yeah, the one near this ball. Yep. And uh, it's on top of that swinging log there. I think you've already got this one. Uh, more than likely. Because you just got to go behind your stone pillar, which is now to your left. Right behind the ball. I'm trying to fucking see if I can stack the boxes so that I can get more height. Because the, the log right now is too high up. Unfortunately, I got to deal with Havoc physics engines. Uh... It looks like uh, what they did is that they took a box, used that to get to a slightly higher ledge, and then just ping pong to the way. I'm gonna up. go the long way. Okay, we're not, well, we're not, we're not pressed for time anymore, so we're not short on time for now. Yeah. Until we get the hard mode, and then the hair. Well, I'm back. Apologies for that. Begins again. I thought you went to sleep. No, uh, just uh, I'm kind of dealing with some real life stuff that might change things for me if it does go through. Mm -hmm. I might be wanted for murder. Uh, I, wish, uh, I wish it was less stressful than that. I'm actually uh, I'm actually trying to make it a buy offer for a, an apartment. Oh, okay. Wait, buy offer? Yeah, basically, I, I'm selling, I'm making an offer into it, and if it goes through, then in June I'll probably have a new place. Oh, okay. But, well, hopefully it works out for you. Yeah, but, uh, but as you probably know, it's stressful. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, and if it does, yay. I'll finally be a proper adult. <laughs> but anyway, how are things doing on your end? No, uh, I'm, I'm alright. Oh, first of all, me, being a proper adult has nothing to do with fucking real estate, okay? Anyone tell, that tells you yeah. feed it that poison is an asshole. Yeah. Honestly, one thing I'm wondering is if the, uh, the political parties like to start paying attention to well, because, uh, what we How the grabbing? fuck do I get this medal? Do I just gotta jump off from the top of one log and then just like... Hold on, I gotta get rid of these robots. They're making me nervous. Shoot something at me. I mean, I'm not sure Link. which number that is, but it's one we're missing. But considering after the log, we've only got two more. 
This could be number nine. This could be number ten. Oh, there's a there's a platform down there, so you probably have to. No, there's I, no way. There's no way I could reach that from down there. Yeah. No, I mean you have to fly. fly oh, whatever the hell did you do there? That. There right now, if we can double check that log, if uh, I don't know where we are. And we're on our way to that log anyway. Actually, no. Um, let's jump up here. Uh, yeah, you got number ten. It seems number nine is right here. Is... Yeah. Okay, so I think if we're there was done. Nothing on that log, yeah, I think you got them all. Was that? Did we collect four in this session? I mean, uh, no, they don't matter, but still. Got one. We got two at the end of two stone ruins. The one that was hovering. So if you just look to your right from the ball, you can check on the log. Like on the log itself? Yeah, it's like hovering on the smack log itself. Uh, I would say that would be visible, but this game's draw distance is dog shit, so... I want to say something I collected already, but there's no way I can actually... I, I wasn't counting. Fuck, I should have counted. I think we would have seen the medal by now, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the end. If not, then we still know exactly where to go. Oh, you're trying this little stone sketch. Okay, Pokeball, do your waste. It looks confusing, that. It's, it's a little cumbersome to do, but it is ultimately fast. Once you get a feel for it. But again, the best thing about silver metal collecting is that we're not pressed for time. We can take yeah. our time. That was the issue with the yeah, rank, just trying to go fast with silver who doesn't go fast. Well, it's not even just about matter going fast. It's like, what the fuck do I have to kill? And what? How many rings will I need? Like by the end of it. All right, let's see what we get. Well, I mean, not for this, but for like, if we get a gold medal at the end of this, we know we got all the medals. I'm in the middle of procking Tia's gunbreaker. All right, we're golden. Swapping to warrior feels like Goku taking off training weights. So go, well, you're also embracing the better tank. <laughs> yes, yes, I, yes, like, there's absolutely no bias in my uh, in my in my my tone when I'm saying that warrior is just the absolute fucking best tank in the game. Well, mm -hmm. well you see, mm -hmm. all takes are board equal, and then so then warrior is just more equal than the rest. <laughs> yeah, you're equal, but I'm super equal. Exactly. Like we have Earth and Super Earth. Man, and oh, uh, this boy. is coming from my very, very bitter dark night. What mind. the fuck is Tropical Jungle Hard Mode? Probably our nice guns. Well, I mean, we're gonna approach this with the same philosophy as normal mode. I mean, isn't that Contra Hardcore? <laughs> Whoa, what yeah. the fuck? They did not launch me up really high up for some reason? I absolutely agree. However, Gunbreaker is the most fun at 80 before the three powder case only. only Man, I got I have to fucking agree, man. Like Gunbreaker at level 90 just doesn't fucking feel good. Uh, I think it actually feels pretty decent. It's no, not man. a second I, it, the, the 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 addition of this the the third cartridge fucks with everything so much. And I I and I don't know exactly what you would do to fix it like off the top of my head because I'm not like in a mental state right now to talk about <laughs> balancing Gunbreaker balancing. <laughs> or at least uh making it more interesting, but I love the extension to I, I love the extension to blast strike. I love double down. Like I love those abilities. But getting all of your shit inside of a single no mercy window feels like horse shit, dude. And if something it it, and if you miss something under your no mercy window, you feel like garbage. Like yeah. way, way worse than missing like a shadow bringer during Dark Knight burst, or if you fucking forgot to I hit your primal ran on warrior and uh and what other shit but man like gunbreaker if you fuck up it's like ah, this sucks all i heard was third cartridge and i'm thinking wait what's a 32x got to do with an mmo <laughs> this is why this shit failed dude no if i'm talking third cartridge we're not talking about 32x we're talking about the retron <laughs> retron 5. it can play everything uh, why yes, do i smell a burning cat hair Ah yes, the Retron yeah. 5, using all that stolen code it uses. <laughs> uh, I'm sensing a degree of animosity there. Oh, just a little? <laughs> yeah, just, okay, I'm yeah. sensing a lot of animosity there. Yeah, oh yeah. 
I'm back for I'm pretty confident. What, you don't like the two minute opener for Gunbreaker? No, nah, man. Like, once it's past the opener, mm-hmm. like, the, the, the opening for Gunbreaker, like, as soon as, like, the battle begins, that's fine. You know, because everything properly lines up. You can't possibly fuck it up. I don't like where this is going. Huh. I will say, like, the opening with Gunbreaker, though, is easier than Dark Knight. I love Dark Knight. I love That's Dark probably, Knight a yeah. lot. It is my second favorite tank in the game. Has been for a very long time. Um, uh, but the opening with Dark Knight, when you where everything is op- uh, is a fucking double weave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, even worse if it's a pot window. Yeah. Like holy shit! Like if you're if you're a person that doesn't like clipping your 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 abilities. You're going to feel like shit with the Dark Knight opener, but man, that damage doesn't lie. Like yeah, the that, opening burst has... damage of Dark Knight is a sight to behold. Can I fucking throw a box at this fruit so I can get the turtle to appear? Thank yeah. you. Magical the... turtle, send me away. Yeah, the Dark Knight opener is like what I like to call is the finger pretzel maker. <laughs> but I do love Your pretzels doing it. will indeed be fingers. I said that right, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these pretzels kind of look like fingers. I guess I made them myself. What's the that's tank class that's changed from level 50? What's the tank class that's changed the least from level 50 to present day? Because, man, figuring out these techniques, I don't go, it's giving me, hmm. I would say warrior. Yeah, uh, warrior is probably the easiest to, <laughs> like, just learn and, and balance and play with like after level 50 because a, a lot of warriors kit is just trait upgrades so but you know instead of doing like inner beast it's just felcleave instead of doing steel cyclone it's decimate and then later instead of felcleave it's inner chaos and then later you just get an, an, an additional button it's primal run that's about it i would say a second would be paladin uh paladin paladin gets pretty busy like once uh requis Requisite is uh, introduced, mm-hmm. uh, but man, Paladin's so fun though. Once Confidier is a thing, especially once yeah. you, once you get the upgraded Confidier, you just get yeah, all yes. the fucking magical swords. <laughs> yeah, here's one sword, two sword, three swords, all yeah. the swords, and they're ranged <laughs> attacks. So like, you yeah. can safely disengage the boss and still like ma- manage your uh, damage. I'm not even playing it's Stormblood good. yet, and I'm already fucking talking about, like, 14 sort of shit. So I was like, fuck, man, I came in for Sonic. Well, I'm not playing Sonic, I'm playing Silver, first off. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonic's time is done. But it's also like, man, I can't wait to start fucking th- th- playing the Stormblood streams. Again, that's going, that's that's towards the end of April, the beginning of May, because I want to I wanna cap off this fucking month with something that makes me happy. Well, what's there to talk about Sonic? There's plenty to talk about with Sonic. Is just that you know, as someone that spent his entire life talking about Sonic, I, 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 it's, I, I feel we've we've exhausted all talking points, at least for another ten minutes, and then we'll refresh those talking points for the sake of clicks and views, baby. Where'd that platform go? Hmm. It went that way. Okay. Do you have to get an S rank on this race to just finish? No, you have to get an S rank. Uh, oh god damn, yeah. Ooh, look, they added spikes. The fucking missile intercepted the box and exploded before it had a chance to impact anything. Ah, so that's why my package has been late for a <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they took my missile to customs. <laughs> why? And then they asked you. Do you have a receipt for this? <laughs> Do you plan on doing terrorist things with this missile? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh shit, you found me out. Oh darn it, and I was gonna give a great surprise party for the Pentagon, that was ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Man. It always baffles me when I have to answer that goddamn question. Yeah, because as someone like has to travel overseas, or at least uh, internationally to visit the states, they just dead ass ask you, "Do you plan on doing terrorist activities when you're here?" And it's like, yeah. do you expect anyone to seriously give you a straight answer if they had ulterior motives for visiting another country? What kind of fucking question is that? It's direct yeah. as shit. 
for sure, yeah. but it's too direct. Like, they're, like, there's no game to this. Like, <laughs> like it takes every fiber of my being not to answer this sarcastically, yes. I mean, the question is, do you seek to engage or in or have you ever engaged in terrorist activity, espionage, sabotage, or genocide? I don't know. I never done. I never done. Only I never done three of those things. Genocide was last week. <laughs> well, you see, I was thinking of coming over to the city of Boston, beautiful place, by the way. And I was thinking of taking your coffee and dumping it in the river because no, some of us have forgotten what you <laughs> did, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Now that I've done that, I got that approved. So the only thing I'm waiting for now is just. Uh, getting to the, getting on the plane in June, and then being a TMG and we're thinking, man, I wish I was playing Dawn Trail right now. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be me. Oh <laughs> boy, here we go! Yay! Yeah! Fucking, that's it. As soon as I did the pound and I saw the shields around the ankles, oh, not grabbing them. Up. Oh. Got to deal with the end lag of the animation. Up, oh, here comes the slowdown. Up, oh, here come the hands. Up, oh, there goes the explosion. Up, oh, there goes my rings. Now where's up oh, the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, shit, fuck. God damn it! You ever have an eyelash go right into your fucking eyeball? I hate that. It's <sighs> even worse when it curves around and gets into the back. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. You're talking about what it's already uh, in the eyeball. I, I got the image of the, like an eyelash in midair doing a fucking curve <laughs> and goes right for the eyeball. That's a trick shot, baby. And then there's the link of feeling of it being there, even though it's no longer oh, there. Oh, fuck. Mom spaghetti, you what? He gets three points for that trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking play DARPA with your eyeball. Give me your hands. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> hands up, that's a bit illiterate. Right? <laughs> uh, Yuri Fuji you are. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime for uh, 54 months. Actually, hold on. Let me fucking. I said I was gonna catch up with subs, and I didn't do that. I have to go load screen. So let, let me let me let me scroll down a bit here because there's a couple of there that here that I missed. All right. So uh, keep leaving off from uh, what was it, Rick? Uh, Mr. King Jacob, thank you for the tier one for 60, 69 months. Nice. Uh, like we thank you for the tier one for forty four months. Wow, two fours. You think Silver is terrified of the jungle wildlife since he probably doesn't know what they are on account of the whole apocalyptic future? I know he's huge. What we're not seeing is him screaming in terror of the amount of insects that are on the ground. Uh, creator, uh, creature one five six. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Uh, Kingdom Hearts fanatic thirteen. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Twitter's been on discussion whether Kingdom Hearts one K is a remake and Death of Final Fantasy seven remake or rebirth. What's your opinion on a KH one remake? Honestly, all you gotta do is make KH one like KH two, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you wanna, um, if we're talking like the full, the whole nine yards of like uh, the graphical update fidelity, uh, music, storylines, and beats like that. I mean. All right, so legit, un unironic answer. I would love and also be weary of a KH1 remake because on one hand, of course I like to see KH1 get remade because uh, even as much as I am, I'm still a fan of the original Kingdom Hearts. Comparatively speaking, especially the two, uh, it is pretty antiquated. The platforming is not good and the combo system uh, leaves a lot to be desired. It's still perfectly fine. It's still a great action RPG. It just doesn't compare to Cage 2. At the same time, if they were to remake Cage 1, they would probably do everything in their power to rebalance and reintegrate it into the story that is Kingdom Hearts nowadays, which I feel would be more detrimental than anything because I, you know me, I, I don't care about the story of Kingdom Hearts. I, I have stopped caring for a very long time. I made that very well known. And while the sensible, logical thing would be to rewrite the story so that they can include those elements they introduce later, a la remake. I feel the first game would lose 
that simplicity that made it very easy for anyone to just jump in and play it. You know, because Kingdom Hearts 1 works standalone as a story. There are threads, yes. There are seeds planted for future games in case the game did really well. I mean, the fucking game has an FMV preview for the second game within the same game. <laughs> I fear integrating Kingdom Hearts lore into the first game with a remake would make the first game lose its simplicity. And I think that's not the way to go, personally speaking, but I, I, I got a feeling I'm probably the minority in that. Because, like, oh my god, of course everyone would want a remake of KH1. It's just that... To me, Kingdom Hearts 1 is a good game as a complete package. That includes having a sensible story that's not so tangled in other plot threads. Um, I, I just, I fear that a Kingdom Hearts remake, plot-wise, would be very busy. They would also have to see the uh, licensing of Tarzan again. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they probably just wouldn't even use Tarzan at that point. They just probably, hey, you know what? Moana's Tarzan-esque. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but I actually never seen that movie. I mean, that would be cool, but the problem is one of them was fighting Cody Rhodes up oh, yesterday. So. <laughs> How are things? Uh, I'm doing all right. We've been streaming for almost an hour at this point. I finally S ranked the fucking normal part of the stage, and then I got the silver medals, and now we're in the hard mode uh, of this. Hey. I'm killing time because the pre show's still going on. Uh, pre shows. I mean, the show itself starts at seven. Yeah. I want to say so. In about, let's say like an hour and a half, give or take, I'll be uh, wrapping the stream up, and then I'll get the Discord watch party going, like over in the sub shack. Also went the wrong way. I might need an invite for that. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that, 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 that's fine. But, um... Fucking... What did you think? Like, overall, did you watch all of Night 1? Yeah, I watched from beginning to end. I regret watching the pre-show. Uh, <laughs> Why? Because uh, I didn't realize it was going to be like... like Because like, the last pre-show I watched of Mania was like they actually had like matches in the beginning. Oh, yeah, they don't do the, the kickoff show anymore. No, so I was like, oh, great, this is fucking boring. Yeah. <laughs> fake commentary over fake sports. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro, was like, if, if I want to give a shit what fucking CM Punk cares about, I'll, watch, I'll look, go to his Twitter or some shit. <laughs> uh, but the, I, I thought the matches were good. I was hoping the Uso match was going to be better. Yeah, man, like, uh, I, I, that I don't, was probably I don't, the biggest I don't pay, disappointment I, I don't, had. I don't like, pay attention to the storylines as much as I used to anymore, but, like, the, the Uso versus Uso match was so fucking heatless. It was, dude, it, it felt, dude, it had no sauce, dude. Yeah. I like, was ex I was expecting something like, like, how, like, uh, like, they kept saying, like, compare it to Hardy versus Hardy or, like, Hard versus yeah. Hard. It was like, all right. And then it turns out it's, like, the worst one of the three. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> I think maybe, like, Silver Lining. They're just trying to build up some base for the payoff for tonight because tonight's main event is bloodline rules. So, you know, er, you know, you know there's going to be tons of fuckery. Yeah. You know, and honestly, I hope it's I hope it's overbooked garbage. <laughs> like, I like, hope like they I, just I, go I, balls to the walls nuts with this because y you have to make it interesting because you didn't pull the trigger on the win last year. Uh, hold on, let me find my favorite tweet about overbooked garbage of this thing. Uh, me, my dream is watching Dusty Rhodes walk out of, walk out with a halo above his head like he's Goku from the Boo arc, and they can hit the father-son crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what a sense. I, no, I wouldn't go full Russo. No, but... no. <laughs> no. Not, dude, you don't go full. You never go full. <laughs> uh, but I, I want it to just be a fucking mess of the bloodline, the the their their Samoan relatives, and the Rhodes family of Cody. And I guess can they get Dustin? <laughs> Is he still contracted with AEW? I think he's. I think he's indie right now. So yeah. Maybe. See, I don't know if the theme tune of Dustin, Dustin, Dustin makes me feel good is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to happen. It's going to be the very end. And then a guy looking like Cody Rhodes, it's going to come out of Stardust. And he's going to say, 
No, uh, Sting's kids are gonna show up. <laughs> One still looking like American <laughs> Sting. <laughs> One looking like wolf bags. And like, guys, you missed the cue. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I love that. I love that. His, I love that no one knew about his sons, and like they were like big Destiny like players. Yeah. It was like, yeah, uh, my dad Sting. Is like, why didn't you say anything? It's like, because he's just my dad. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but the this shit. but but the matches yesterday was pretty good. I enjoyed the uh, the ladder uh, tag team royale. That was fun. What like the the, the fucking four tag team or something? No, you see, I, I, like that was fun. Um, it got very royal rumble towards the end, where it was just a mess. <laughs> I mean, it, that's gonna happen with yeah. the tag team ladder match. Yeah, but like, you're, you're not. Oh my god, I fucking knew that was gonna happen. I'm just gonna keep going and see what my score is like with time, just to get a semblance of what I should be striving for. You know, if I didn't know you guys were talking about wrestling, I thought you guys would be talking about some very obscure anime. No, no, no. Well, what is wrestling if not just redneck anime? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Cena coming back, like, for five seconds. Same with thing with Austin. <laughs> uh, I, I love everything with The Rock's fight yesterday, especially the part where he's like, Don't fucking count. If you count, if you're, you count you're fired. I'm like, you don't fuck with the rock. I'm like, all right, I am. I'm glad this fucker's back. Yeah, yeah like his heel work has been legit incredible. Like I, I've been having a lot of fun watching him, like be an absolute fucking shit fiend. Because the press shit fiend rock is like the best rock. And then after the press conference, he's all like normal with no issue. It's yeah, hilarious. I know it's a really fucking striking contrast. I was just having an episode. Just the rock being the rock. Uh, his entrance was fucking crazy. I, I I enjoyed everything <laughs> about it though, but it's like, I mean, it's Mania. I expect someone to have like an Undertaker like length like entrance every time. So you say that, man, but I think I think Roman can speed it up a bit. <laughs> you know, get that man a segue. <laughs> Because it's been five minutes and he's still on the fucking corner of the ring. I thought Cody's interest was long as hell. Oh man, because we we got I mean, we got two long. woes out of that. Yeah, <laughs> we got two woes. Out of <laughs> Before the match, Rikishi runs Cody over with the Reigns car, and he did it for the Rock. <laughs> no, he did it for the Bloodline. He did it for the Bloodline. Okay, okay, okay. We got forty-three thousand points. Just playing that stage normally, and I, the only reason why I didn't get the S rank was because I got hit. So we just need to do exactly that, and just don't get hit. That's it. That's literally it. So if we get hit, we gotta start over. Uh, did you listen? Did you sit through the uh, the Hall of Fame or no? Uh, I caught bits and pieces of it. I I, I I rarely watch the Hall of Fame like in full because I the audience like pisses the main... me, because the audience yeah. pisses me oh off. Oh my god. Fuck. They need to stop like doing it right after SmackDown. Like, it needs to just be a small like thing. But the Paul Heyman uh, speech he did was really good. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I did catch some uh, most of that, uh, and, and I and I said it like three times already, but I had to say it again. So like, there was a part of me that was hoping like, I hope he like fucking puts on the jacket and gets the hat on, like it looks like what he did like twenty years ago. But I gotta tell you, that hat doesn't work when he doesn't have that rat tail behind his head. Yeah. No, uh, it, it needs to have a weird fucking like ponytail he had. Yeah. What did the audience do? It's not so much what the audience did this time specifically. It's that most of the time, like the audience makes it insufferable to watch. Because it doesn't help that it, it doesn't help before. Like the Hall of Fame used to be an actual separate building that they would it would only yeah. just be like uh, some wrestlers and it was a different ticketed event. Now it's literally just like, all right, SmackDown is done. We're gonna change the thing to make it look like the Hall of Fame, and yeah. anyone can just stay over. Yeah. Um, and. and it's for something that celebrates the prestige and the and uh, an honor and the career of the rest of their honoring audiences still like to be a part of the show and treat it like a wrestling promo and that includes like trying to hijack the 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 fucking speech if they don't like like the wrestler's character or anything like that and i'm just like come on man that's so fucking disrespectful 
the worst one is when they are uh, apparently uh, when they were inducting uh, Muhammad Ali, his wife is there. Yeah. And like the story is that uh, he was the people's champ. The Rock actually had to ask the the Ali family to yeah. use that. And then people started booing. Is like, oh, like I get it. He's a heel, but like, I this is an actual thing, man. <laughs> What was it? Um, it was fucking. Uh, it was a few years ago. I don't remember who did it, or who was being inducted, but like oh. the fucking audience was doing what chance, like in the oh. middle of it. Oh my god! And like oh. I remember, I remember that pissing the fuck out of Chris Jericho. And I'm mean, like, look at her, like Chris Jericho has got these own problems and shit. But it's like, man, I gotta agree. Like, guys, shut the fuck up. Like, this ain't about you. This is about them. This is their moment, and you're fucking taking it away because her dur. I'm just as part of the show as the wrestlers are. Uh, the worst thing, I, I will say the one thing that did caught me off guard about this year's uh, Hall of Fame, uh, they used Bull Meccano's original theme. What do you mean? Which was the Orient. The da -da 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 yeah, oh wow, I'm surprised they went over that. Yeah, no, that's why I'm like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> I was in a car ride. I'm like, all right, cool. They're probably just going to do some like more traditional music. It's like, no, they just went straight with the fucking Oriental riff. It was like, oh, oh fuck. okay. <laughs> right, the dude who had fucking attacked Bret Hart during the. Oh uh, my god. When the Hart Foundation was. That was fucking awful. It, uh, wasn't that dude also ended up being like an indie wrestler? Yeah. Yeah, just all that for some clout that you did not get because everyone just fucking hates you now. And not in like a heel sense, but more like, I wish you'd go the fuck away. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, other than that, today I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully the. Uh, the Los Angeles night versus uh, <laughs> the Los Angeles night <laughs> versus uh, I don't know Atlanta Georgia Styles uh, fight happens. It's kind of I'm a looking forward to that one. It. Yeah, I don't know what else goes with AJ. Fucking <laughs> action Jackson <laughs> Styles. I don't know. Oh my God! Hey Jason. Oh uh, no, we're we're in the hard mode version of this stage now because I S ranked the yeah. regular stage earlier in the stream. We got all the silver medals, so. Uh, this is our final Takata. The problem is, is that uh, the S rank for this one requires me that I, I don't get hit. Like, l late into the stage. Like, I can... Go away. Because that'll kill those robots and I can just go along my merry business. I have no doubt that uh, Cody is going to be taking the W for tonight. Because, honest to God, I think him losing again is not the best move for the storyline. Because folks are just going to be too fucking ambivalent. Man, these Hall of Fames are getting out of here. Bring out Knuckles. I did see that picture of someone in a Knuckles costume right behind the co uh, the commentary table. WrestleMania Night One and Knuckles. Actually, I don't know why the fuck I'm bothering. Because again, it's not really so much enemy score. It's rings. I thought that a missile explosion was going to clip me. And I was going to get hit. And then I was going to lose all my rings. And then I'd be angry. And then sad. I also was not paying attention to my homing meter there. I almost fell to my death. You can't see it, but my fucking fingers are trembling. Yep, sounds like that one. 
看这个。Now, if you're alt having that in the VOD, was I scratching my beard or my nutsack? You missed it. You don't know for sure. Don't scroll back. That's the coward's way. <laughs> the trick answer is it's both. He has two hands after all. <laughs> <laughs> this game blows derogatory wait hold on what is this game blowing cock mean in a good time oh, i guess if, if you're getting your dick sucked <laughs> and you want it <laughs> then sure that's that, that's a positive way i mean i don't know why you're blowing up um poultry but okay <laughs> <laughs> that, that chicken had it coming yeah, i got a little bit too cocky <laughs> ah, that's what you call the blunt force pump <laughs> Give me your fucking hands. Now the taking other hand. your hand privileges. <laughs> you just All lost right. your, your hand privileges. Hand them over. <laughs> it's always a weird body. First it's knee privileges, then it's hand privileges. Uh, oh. Any thoughts on the uh, Sonic Hacking Contest 2024 announcement, John? I mean... Uh, I know uh, Sonic Hacking Contest is going through, uh, it's under new management uh, after last year. And I mean, I'm still going to be partaking in the festivities as, as I usually do. You know, I'm still a part of uh, the, the, the media team, uh, for lack of a better description. You know, but that, that you know, same as always, I just take entries and I stream them. Literally it. Uh, I know that we are going to be hosting, I know the contest is going to be hosted like uh, late summer, I believe. You know, because uh, after last year and the year beforehand, we like they generally agree is like we can't have this in October. Uh, why new management? I don't know. I don't know anything about that shit behind the scenes, guys. I just play entries and I stream them. That's it. I have nothing else to do with anything else about that contest. Uh, but I do know that. Uh, they want to they want to host them towards uh, late summer uh, again, because like hosting it in the fall and uh, like especially around the general era of October, like the 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 viewer retention and engagement is just absolutely fucking piss. And, and when it falls in line with new releases, especially of a new Sonic game, no one fucking gives a shit because everyone just wants to play the new Sonic game, you know? But isn't Sonic uh, Summer the time frame of Sage? Uh, I don't know. Again, that's that's really uh, without trying to sound too rude about it. That's not my problem. I again, I just uh, I just play entries and I stream them. I'm in no way uh, uh, a, an, an officer or a, a figurehead for this sort of shit. I just play but, games. But you're the number one of them, so that has to mean you're affiliated with them. Did you call me piss? Maybe. <laughs> He'd say with the devilish smile on his face. At least he's honest about it. Mm, not my favorite Sonic character, Piss Thorndike. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Let's see what they're talking about now. Hmm? No, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, wrestling stuff. I'm like, no. Oh. What the fuck? Mm, peacock, you piece of shit of an app. Dude, Peacock sucks. Like, that shit three times last night crashed. I missed the I ending of the Sami Zayn Gunther match. Ooh, damn. That was a good one. Um, fucking the last thing I saw 
it, it, it was kind of funny, admittedly, but the last thing I saw before the app crashed was Sammy, like, throwing a tantrum in the ring before he hulked up. <laughs> <laughs> the app crashes, we load it back up, and he's already got the title on his hands. Like, did he eat Gunther? <laughs> <laughs> They can't disqualify you if you eat the competition. So like, so I'm expecting a whole like uh, riot if like uh, Cody loses, right? Yes. Okay. You think they'll do it anyway? <laughs> well, it, it, I'm surprised they didn't. Like, I'm surprised they didn't just riot after like The Rock just came out of the entrance and like that's it. Like, all right, that's good enough for us. Uh, Leah, thank you for the two hundred forty-two much. Much appreciate it. Cody has to win today. Like, yeah, he has I, I, to win. I think it, I, I think it's a safe assumption that. Oh my god, I think it's a safe assumption he's he's taking the W for today, because the blood line, the bloodline rules is just them setting up that anything goes and Cody can win through any means necessary. Unless the Rock says so. Unless the Rock says so. <laughs> if you win, you're fucking fired. <laughs> has there ever been an audience problem at the WWE event? Uh. Hmm. I don't think like actual in things, but I know people like their their security is really good, so they like kick out people like yeah. ASAP. Your hands. Thank you. All right, there's another fucking robot problem. here. Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna let this dude shoot missiles at me. Also, isn't it kind of weird, like, when, like, the Hispanic people were, uh, wrestling, it was sponsored by Agua Frescas? <laughs> yeah. Just me? Okay. No, no, <laughs> we, we, we called that out, too. <laughs> oh, next you know, you're gonna tell me the black wrestlers win when they're sponsoring, like, Wingstop or something. Oh, they would, they would that never. They, they would never. <laughs> Fucking shoot the missiles. Why wasn't I grabbing the missiles? Oh my God, I was literally holding the R trigger. Is there a set fucking altitude for this shit? Oh my God. This is the fucking worst. Like, I was already having my struggles. You've seen it. It's on the odds. Oh my god. But I am fucking miserable. Yeah, it's hard mode, uh, Greyhound. But that, what happened there had nothing to do with hard mode. That's just the game saying that it don't matter if your fucking telekinesis shit is up. The missiles are too high above your head. So they're just going to hit you anyway. Even though I thought psychokinesis was all encompassing, it's not a cone. There was another robot here. I thought there was another robot here. All right, never mind. He's left. So what happened? Just not fuck this. Don't know from experience. Yeah, this game. <laughs> <laughs> Anything here? No. Wait, was it in there? No, there's not. Okay. All right, I'm gonna jump off. Catch you guys later. All right, I'm have a good night, Trails. Later, Trails. Like, I haven't been losing my shit as much as. Never mind, fucking. Okay. You have to say something. Oh, shit. It is the little things that get under my skin in very, very big ways. Oh, God. I'm, I'm imagining my, my progression through this game like the fucking stock market. 
and we get to silver like S rank cleanup and it just nose dives past the threshold and it's on its way to the fucking core of the earth. It's okay though, I shorted it, so I'm still making money. Oh, all right. You want say that a little closer to the <laughs> mic that I'm wearing on my chest. <laughs> Look, shorting is not illegal. All right. I think. I don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay, I can still go because this was too early. We're still early enough into the stage, so I can just keep on. I am going to go my way to kill these robots. Because I do need to make up for that slight point loss. And you get a box, and you get a box. And you get a missile, and you get a missile. Multiple missiles like that, actually. I cast non magic missile. Non magic. <laughs> Psychic missile! Psychic missile! <laughs> I'm better than you! Hi, I'm Dark Type. Get fucked. <laughs> Seven's match for magic. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And they're not elemental, too. I heard a missile. Somebody was shooting at me and I didn't, I don't see them. So I'm just gonna pretend they're not here and then just keep going. Just throw me your fucking hand. That just harmlessly bounces off your body. No, Silver. It's really not. I'm looking forward to you, like, in the future, just you're playing a different game and someone's gonna be in chat and like, yeah, I played 06 for the first time, it actually wasn't that bad. I and mean, you're, you're, just having, you're, like, hold on, you're, you're, you're assuming that I already hear that now. <laughs> no, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Again, if you play this game and you like it, great, but also, I don't care. <laughs> this is, you do you, it's fine. But I need to inform you that I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's fine. You're allowed to like things. <laughs> His career is here in the exact sentence in multiple forms. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are pr uh, press player, Jason. You are allowed to like things. I bestow you the gift of freedom. I, I don't know how I was going with that. <laughs> uh, I bestow upon the gift to you air from my lungs there. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Your enjoyment permit. <laughs> it's not a license, though. You gotta park between road codes in order to get your enjoyment license. Oh. Oh, these fucking robots. Whoa! What the fuck? I love oh, the ocean advertising. Oh, fuck. Because I grabbed that metal, that that stone platform, I could not fucking grab the missiles. Wait, 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 my meter's not full. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm getting flustered. Okay. I'm listening to the I'm listening to the uh the pre-show, and it was like 40 years of mania. Uh 30 of which we can't really talk about because a lot of things happened in between that time. <laughs> Dude, like, I was impressed, like, legit impressed, because, like, as the show was beginning, uh, they did, like, that whole WrestleMania retrospective, like, showing mm -hmm. archive footage of every WrestleMania around that point, and you, you don't see a fucking inkling of Vince McMahon yeah. anywhere. Which is crazy, because you would think, like, X7, they would have to show something from him. Yeah, but, but they didn't. Like, they, like, this dude is persona non grata. Like, holy fuck. Oh my god. I just, I just like, so what happened in WrestleMania 20? Um, John Cena won. What happened in the World Championships? Nothing. 
<laughs> oh my god, Silver, you are garbage! I grab the missile! I jump and I shoot missile at robot. It goes every other direction instead of straight forward! Is this is what I like to have the lolly lula though. <laughs> You can call me Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you said Fortune for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> the bullets are just bouncing right off. <laughs> I can't handle my uh, my rare Pepe. Yeah. Yes. Grab the fucking robot, you stupid fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even know if this is enough! I don't even know if this is enough! Oh my god, please, 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 please! <laughs> we got 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like the show starts at an hour. Oh, right. What's the first thing in the card? Wait, what is the first match of the day? No, good question. Uh... Uh, apparently, it's uh, Seth versus Drew. Uh, so really? Saying, yeah. Oh. Man, poor Seth. He got his ass kicked yesterday. No, dude. I'm just talking about the nobody fucking gives a shit about Seth. Like in in like in any of this, it's like I, I mean Cody like it, Cody and like, Roman's thing became second fiddle when The Rock may, will int introduce himself, and then afterwards Roman. Nobody gives a fuck about Roman, dude. Like that is it. It is it is totally not. Like, he is a non entity in this feud, which is. Impressive because Cody is the one that has to beat him to finish the story, but nobody fucking gives a shit about him. The same with Seth. No one gives a shit about Seth and this whole thing. Uh, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I'm hoping the match between him and Drew McIntyre is great, but people give less of a shit about Seth Rollins and that gold plastic thing he has around his waist. Yeah, I think it would have been better if like CM Punk didn't get injured. At least that would thing make things a bit more interesting. But, uh, yeah, no, I didn't even realize I totally forgot about the Drew McIntyre fight. <laughs> All right, uh, Dusty Desert, normal. I don't know what the. Oh my god. Oh, ah! All ah! right, yeah, that's. You like ball puzzles? <laughs> oh, fuck! I just had, like, all of the bad memories just come crashing in. Balls, 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 balls. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bucket. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna need chat to just explode in balls. <laughs> like once we uh, once we get to the fucking once we get to the ball puzzle, not the one in the beginning. I'm not talking about the billiards game. We're talking about the fucking ball puzzle at the end. That would make me happy. So I need all the balls. If you got balls, emotes, or anything like that, hopefully they're not actual testicles. Truck nuts are are, are, are an acceptable substitution. But fuck, man. Like, the S rank is entirely dependent on whether or not I can clip through the fucking door. Oh, yeah, pull a Sabrina and get a first try. Man, I don't know how she does it. I mean, clearly she's just better at it than me, but. Okay, son. Of course, the fucking summoning ritual for Jason is balls. Oh yeah, we also can't hear Jason. Actually, what am I doing? Just just wait for the balls to fucking naturally like fall where they I mean it's not good for a rank, but still. Can you imagine they didn't fix the clipping part of the main mission, but in the hard one they actually did? And that's what makes it hard. <laughs> you can't cheese it. Which means you would know about the cheese set in the first place, but you did nothing to make it less awkward. Uh, 
Uh, that's probably, they're probably gonna get stuck in that corner, unless one of them manages to just fall through. No! <laughs> Fuck. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the case. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't get them uh, all in a ball in a one. So thankfully the whole puzzle doesn't reset when that happens. You just have to like try again. Again, the only thing you're losing is time. Which when you're trying to go for a specific rank is like the worst thing in the world. But thankfully this one's not a big deal at all. Like again, it's just simple billiards. You don't even have to call your shots. I was always garbage at billiards. I like that game, but I'm also really fucking terrible at it. How's it going, G? There should be a switch somewhere. There should be a Nintendo Switch somewhere. <laughs> Me in 2017. <laughs> You think this is the year we're going to get a new console for Nintendo? Um, I think if there was going to be a new console this year, we would have at least known about it by now. And I'm not talking. I'm not talking about like the endless fucking Switch Pro rumors or the Switch Two shit. I think just logically speaking, if we were to learn of a new console that's due this year, we would have at least known about it officially. I expect a an announcement this year. Silver, hear me out. I think there's going to be an announcement this year, but we're not going to get it until next year at the earliest. What would you want for a Switch sequel? Just do it. Just do Switch again, but make an SSD. And uh, obviously higher graphical fidelity, at least on par with the uh, PlayStation oh. 4. Because I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't need the next Switch game to be fucking PS5, Xbox Series X caliber. I don't give a fuck about graphics. Uh, but I would like the new Switch to be SSD. Like I, I kind of just want a, pretty much yeah, just a slightly more powerful, slightly more, of course, more higher fidelity like console. Yeah. But like. The Switch is kind of like, if you think about it, the Switch like just is a pretty decent console for what it is. Yeah, it's underpowered as hell, but like yeah, it's under. That's literally it. Like the, my only my only issue is like it's underpowered and it's it still doesn't have an SSD. Um, and literally that's it. Because I love the Switch. Like I do. Like I legit love the fucking shit out of the Switch. But sometimes it is painful when you're when you're playing different games and it's like I gotta sit to these fucking load screens. Dude. These are obnoxious as shit. I've been spoiled by SSD. Uh, backwards compatibility, better UI, and a fucking eShop song for the love of Nintendo. <laughs> is I mean those are those are pretty minute things, but they're very sensible. Like I would agree. It's it's, the, it's little things. It's like having a, like music for your for your shop channel. Like that just makes. The, the console have more personality. I would hope that backwards compatibility at least would like switch games would, would be a given, but I don't know who's to say. I I think the worst for my case, I would hopefully want the worst case digital backwards compatibility at least if like if they can't do physical. But like that's the only thing that would come to mind. Like, what, yeah, what excuse would you th see them not going physical for backwards compatibility outside of like getting you to buy the game digitally again? Uh, I would just say like cartridge shape would probably be the biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, true enough. I want to play TFC three without the fear of a crash. <laughs> you know what's funny is that uh, when I was recording DMC three on the Switch for the video. There was a part of me that was kind of hoping, man, I hope I don't get the drama glitch. Where the fucking audio just <laughs> like in real time, because I don't think my ears could handle that. Uh, Blaze and I thank you for the raid party of 14. Much appreciated. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying your stream, whatever it is you were playing. 
because uh, the unfortunate thing about raids is that they'll tell me the party number, but they won't tell me exactly what you were doing unless I like ask for clarity. I'm not sure if there's a command for that. Don't expect backwards compatibility with Nintendo. I mean, I don't think it's that much because people are acting like Nintendo's never been backwards compatible in the first place. It's like, no, the Wii U could play Wii games. We uh, the Wii could play GameCube. You know, like the uh, like the GameCube was obviously the outlier and the N64, like because the N64 couldn't play Super Nintendo and the GameCube could play N64 games. But like they're, they're normally pretty good about that. Yeah, I mean, like GBA, you super, like you GBA, super Nintendo, the GBA could world. play color and regular Game Boy games. And the DS could do GBA. And the DS, yeah. And so I don't know where this, I don't know where this anti-backwards compatibility mindset they think Nintendo has comes from because that's just not true. And your 3DS can play DS, DSi, and Game Boy Advance games, basically, yeah. with work. With work, yeah. Although your Super Nintendo was almost backwards compatible. Also, I don't know if this is going to come in too loud, but like... What is that, dude? What the hell no, it's not loud at all. You're coming in really low. Oh, there it is. Oh, is that the... Oh my god, the fact yeah. that Jason was that low, but you can still hear how crunchy that explosion is. <laughs> Speaks volumes of the German explosion. Hold on, let me... Uh, Jason, can you, can you speak again? Yeah, I was just... Okay, I'm gonna crank it up a little quietly. bit. You're not, you're not, you're not terribly quiet uh, this time. So, no, I was just speaking quietly. Okay, well, you sound fine now. So, because I was just like, I don't know how loud this is gonna be. <laughs> so I'm Fuck going to dude. have this <laughs> turned all the way down on the mixer. <laughs> I, I appreciate you looking out for everyone. Uh, no, I have to go with Amy because Amy has to lead the way. Man, I wish I was just fucking better with the ball clip. Because if I can do that, that gives me such a significant time bonus like you wouldn't believe. What, Speaking of the, the wall? Um, I'm talking about, like, the ball puzzle, yeah. Because I'm, I'm now trying to get the S rank for the stage. Oh, uh, so using the vase to go through the wall. What do you mean, like, outside, like, the ball puzzle area? Well, you can you you know the vases that are like in that room, right? Yeah, yeah. You can put them up against the door and use them to clip through the door and go out of bounds and skip like half the stage. That's in the beginning of the stage, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not but talking about a, that specifically. I'm just talking about the bubbles in the way. Yeah, in like later though. Too. Yeah. Because you could technically do that with the room as well. I'm not touching Thousand Year Door remake until I finish Rebirth. So never. Y yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Finally, someone who gets it. Uh, I am really looking forward to the Thousand Year Door remake, but I, I I am not touching it until I finish Rebirth because I am not juggling multiple RPGs at once. I hate doing that. The I'm only exception is 14. I'm happy that game is getting reprinted. I'm sad that my copy is now worth like five bucks. <laughs> 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 Hold on, I mean, don't, but, 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 don't count it out just yet, because what if the remake is not, like, the most optimal way of playing the game? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You're right, you're right. Mm. That means they should charge for $400 instead. Yes. They, they pay, uh, that, 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 uh, fucking swimming in the money, dude. Anyway, like, speaking of console wars, I love how this year, like, this season of console shit has been, like, the weakest, like, arguments for console wars. Is it's that, been great. It's, I mean, I know it's yeah, still no, a thing, but like you'd be you'd be surprised. Like, what's the, I've been seeing what, people. Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, like people like uh, Hell Divers is a big like PS uh, PlayStation Five PC game right now. Right. And people are like, well, like why don't you bring it to Xbox? And people are like, no, we don't want you here. It's like, bruh. Oh my god, seriously. And I'm like. You guys are fighting like the most midest wars where both fucking consoles are pretty much just on par. The same. Like, it's yeah. just different branding. That's all it is. I just keep saying to myself, Mediocre wrestling was a mistake. <laughs> I just find it funny. It's just like, how are people like really like dying hard for like this console that's like 
like they're going like, yeah, it's, it's all right. I wish I had more games to play on my PS5. And I'm sure people are thinking the same thing with their Xboxes. But like... Oh wait, uh, isn't there an invisible enemy like around here that acts as a commander for this? Damn, this game, uh, th this console is really good for timed exclusives once a year. It was funny. It was like everyone and their grandmother around my circle are waiting for fucking sixteen to get re released on the PC so they can actually play it. Right. You know, because like Tsushima, so I can double dip. The fucking, the yeah. funniest fucking thing about the fourteen sixteen crossover. Uh, that just released earlier this week is that the the wandering minstrel who essentially acted as like an avatar for Yoshi P is so fucking unsubtle about you should continue his story by playing Final Fantasy 16 and it's like it's so blatant with how unsubtle it is that it's funny but at the same time a lot of folks in my uh, circle is like yeah that's great if i could play it because i'm not getting a fucking ps5 for one game uh my, my favorite like meme about that is just the obama giving obama a medal <laughs> Buy Final Fantasy 16, so you can uh, go on Twitter and also say, you know what, it's okay to not like Final Fantasy 16. People are still bitching about 16. <laughs> well, the most of the complaints I've seen nowadays was regarding 16 is just that they can't play it because it's not on PC yet. Well, they should just buy a PS5. It's so easy. It is now. Don't you guys have five dollars? I think it was Pat, and it was like, this card is like, man, the people who did the 16 stuff is really good. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's done by the same dev team or anything or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to play again. That's too political, too anime, John. Oh my god. Was there someone that was, like, getting dunked on, uh, like, like, I think yesterday or the day before that was talking about why? Helldivers is the political. Hell, yeah. yeah, there we go. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, are people are deaf. People are stupid, dude. Like, people are just fucking stupid. It's like, yeah, I'm stupid. Helldivers isn't political. Never mind, you're literally going to planet to planet, giving people democracy. Oh, uh, here we yeah. are. Balls, 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 balls. <laughs> fucking hate it here. You're going around planet to planet, liberating people from their own ideologies. <laughs> That's democracy, and, baby. And going around planet or planet and stealing this thing called 110. Or... What was it? Whatever, it's just oil backwards. That's yeah. What <laughs> yeah. Element 710. <laughs> I don't know, I, I still think my favorite dumb Twitter take, it's like, yeah, I'm glad Metal Gear Solid isn't political, even though it's like one of the most political games of all time. Yeah, they're, they're just not paying attention. That's literally it. I mean, you can enjoy Metal Gear Solid for just like what it is, like a stealth game, right? That's fine. Yeah. But to to make such a obviously wrong statement... <laughs> And then not accept the consequences of you getting dunked on for that is just foolhardy. This game got patched. What patch is this game on? Dude, we are so fucking far removed uh, from keeping in touch with 06 patches if it got patched at all. Uh, and if you're talking about if whether or not the door glitch doesn't work anymore, it does. It's just that I'm not good at it. It's not political, but you can tell the future. Yeah, did 06 have patches, actually? That's a good question. Because if they did, I don't fucking know what they fixed. Every 
every time I see someone say seven or avatar isn't political, I want to commit a crime of the hateful variety. <laughs> Man, I hate these diverse games and shit. I love playing Baird from seven though, he's great. <laughs> Bunny Mr. T Man. <laughs> With God. Yeah, of course the game isn't political. They say the R word in the original version. <laughs> also, you know, they made him like Mr. T because, you know, he's black. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like, someone please tell me what the fuck am I doing wrong. If they, if they, if the original seven came out today, they would make Barrett based off of fucking like Terry Crews or some shit. They were just giving his mesh outfit from the movie. <laughs> no, I fucking, can I get a straight answer, please, outside of playing 06? I know that I'm playing 06. <laughs> All you're doing is just highlighting how fucking stupid I am and how stupid you are. Should I fucking start from the middle of the door is what there's- Oh no! That box had other ideas! Well, we lost both. No. Stop. You know, hearing Zami Zane's music in the background while just seeing you struggle is kind of great. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just hear, oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the audience is just saying, let's go, as in, please get a fucking move on. What was my timer at the last time I did the clip? No, you're saying it's faster to do the puzzle gaming, Chuck. Someone said the exact same fucking thing the first time I did this, and I couldn't do that either. Just push better, man. You ready? No, it's not skill issue, it's krill issue. Come on, guys, don't you fucking fish? Come on. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Actually, it's pronounced Kryl. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, what the fuck? Like, I am literally beyond the boundaries of this fucking box. We have a grill issue on Modern Warfare 2 Shrimp. <laughs> I love everything about that sentence. Oh god, now the trash is getting in the fish ponds. No, it's on top of the door! Wait, 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 wait! Where am I? Inside, I am I out? There are no Hulk Maniacs here! <laughs> <laughs> I just got to do it faster. That's literally it. <laughs> so it's it's either I do the ball puzzle legit first try or I get the clip within like the first minute. But that also just dead ass confirms that they knew how bullshit the ball puzzle is and they did nothing to make it better. It's like, no, we know it's dog shit, but we're going to give you a very lenient time bonus uh, as a makeup for it because we don't, we don't have fucking time. Stop asking. Get out of my house. Jason, was it right here? Oh my God. Hmm? No, it's like at the door itself. You have to like stack two vases on top of each other. So no, you are not going to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking to me or the game? I, I'm telling you that you're yeah. not going to get it. Okay, 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 okay. You're talking about this right here? Yeah, like, you put one upside down, and then you have to put one right side up on top of the other one. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fucking work. Never mind. Fuck exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that sounds like precise bullshit. I'm not fucking wasting my time with that. And that gives you just enough height to be able to go over the uh, the the spot where there's no collision on the door. 
It's gonna let these naturally form, fall and into any hole that they might deem their home. What are words? Any hole's a goal. <laughs> Eh. And you should fall down too. I love that in wrestling, anyone can just casually sneeze, and you will just hear a CM Punk chat right after that. <laughs> fall. Fall into the hole. You're slowly getting there, so I'm going to focus on this. Ooh. The fucking face! Get the Wait, hold on. If I put the face in the hole, will it count? Uh, Krasian, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. I gotta go fast and like Sonic. Oh, wait, wrong character. That's right, man. We're fucking playing Sonic 06. It's not Sonic. This is Sonic 06. <laughs> Common mistake happens to everybody. No, but thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Well, Sonic 06. I thought this was Sonic and 6. <laughs> <laughs> uh, CM Punk is doing the commentary for the Drew McIntyre Seth Rollins match today. At least initially, I'm expecting him to get involved. Like, there's no way that man is not getting involved in some form or fashion physically in that fight. Something's gonna happen to the referee, and then he's gonna uh, become the new referee. I can never unhear that Cody Rhodes referee story in my head anytime I hear the word referee. What do you mean? Where's that referee? <laughs> he tried to fuck on me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that referee tried to fuck on me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, so, so TLDR, there was a, there was a match in SmackDown for, with uh, Ted DiBiase, Cody Rhodes, and I think Bad News Barrett. I'm assuming you mean uh, Ted DiBiase Jr. Yes. Okay. Okay. The one that's in jail right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but also not Ted DiBiase Sr. <laughs> yeah. It's like what's Cody uh, fighting this sixty-year-old man for? <laughs> uh, he was fighting Daniel Bryan, Ezekiel Jackson, and someone okay. else. Um, so what happened was, uh, it was like the very beginning. It was supposed to be like a like a twenty-minute match. Uh, apparently Ted DiBiase Jr. forgot to kick out. Oh. So so it went from a twenty-minute match to a five-minute squash match. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then apparently the story is when he when Cody was heading back, uh, he was going through Gorilla, and then you just hear Teddy Biasi Jr. yelling at Vince, "Where's that referee? He tried to fuck on me." <laughs> and then, yeah, that's where the whole story. And that became apparently uh, an achievement in the new 2K game. Wait, what was the name of the achievement? Uh, uh, where's that referee? And it's you doing a fast count as a special guest referee. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I never heard of that story. Imagine Drew beats Seth. Punk hits such GTS on Drew. Damian Priest cashes in and becomes world champion. Man, I was kind of hoping Damian Priest would just use his money in the bank contract to take the Rock's Muhammad Ali championship <laughs> belt. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, he tried to fuck on that. <laughs> I would love to make that the right hashtag, but we're only using that against someone that I know. <laughs> Not ready or random with that. Thank you. You're welcome. What did I do? Yeah, there it is. The rest of the yeah. <laughs> it's a good it's a it's a good story from Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Where's that referee? <laughs> yeah, we could use that. Uh, something a little more G rated. Okay, so where's that damn fourth referee? Oh my god. <laughs> Can we do something about these channel points at some point? Because I'm about to hit 300,000. <sighs> do I want to jump the gun on that yet or not? 
You get 300,000 seconds. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking out loud. I just, I just, I just kind of forgot I was streaming there for a second. <laughs> uh, ADD kicking in again? No, it's. It, I, I've been kind of. Uh, I've, I've been kind of rummaging around with an idea that I. Well, not an idea, but something that I wanted to. I was thinking about doing for a little bit. Uh, for the 14, write that down, write that down. Like for the 14 streams. Specifically. No, because I've been sharing this idea with. Uh, well, not idea, but like just an, something I want to shoot with. Oh, oh my god, holy shit. Why are you guys talk, Why are you guys making me talk while I'm playing at the same time? Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you didn't share this idea with me. What are, are you keeping secrets from me now? Because in terms of like, its, oh, yeah, in ter what? I mean, Never I know you, I mean, I know you're jesting. I mean, I, at least I think you are. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's really hard to tell with you guys. <laughs> Friends in my circle, multiple circles of that have two modes, positive and passive aggressive as fuck. <laughs> uh, Dude, and what, what happened to our relationship? I thought we were supposed to be open with each other. There, there is Discord chat, and then there There's is Discord. Discord chat. <laughs> Johnny cheats on Jason more than alone. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I heard you say, like, it's about 14. I could just feel like half of your chat just throwing their headphones away. Like, so. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. That, that's literally my my reaction. Uh, like, oh, Johnny's keeping secrets from me. I guess he's cheating on me now. Then he mentioned 14. Ah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, God, I'm glad we're able to set the boundaries of that, like, uh, lickety split. Don't worry, we're still fucking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh but no uh going into the channel because oh, well, i was helping elliot with his um his lethal company stream i think last week um he has this thing where like uh, the, the the toothless dance shows up on the screen which by the way he needs to fucking reformat because that shit's supposed to obviously cover the whole screen and it doesn't it only covers a corner of the screen that i meant to tell him about that i didn't <laughs> uh but he does that with channel points uh, I'm assuming. So what I need to do is have something similar for that, but something that because because I don't want like something that you can obviously spam, right? Because then people are not having a good time. It's like, oh, I'm here to watch John, not fucking watch Toothless dance on the floor. <laughs> that sort of shit. I'm gonna try the puzzle one shit at least just once. Oh my god, it's gonna dink the wall. There we go. Fuck that. Fuck that up. Fuck that up. Well, speaking of lethal company, fucking hell, last night was a trip. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> what didn't happen? This is the better question. <laughs> <laughs> Reload the bar. Let's my just god, say damn, things got things were banging in that stream last night. <laughs> lethal company. That's so retro. <laughs> <laughs> The only fun like, I was there, I know what happened. Uh, hi, honey. So, John, I accidentally got everyone on a gambling addiction. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> With one of the mods for Lethal Company. I see. It just it added fucking <laughs> fucking pokies to the uh, to the game. It's like, oh man, we, we don't have enough money <laughs> and we don't have enough items to gamble with to try to get enough money. Look at the fucking time bonus. Look at the Jesus, time bonus. Kill your bonus. friends. <laughs> 41,000. They were expecting you to struggle with that fucking ball. <laughs> So yeah, we casually committed murder and then gambled one of the bodies. <laughs> Fearless murder, thank you for the tier one. I'm sorry, I heard murder. Uh, speak closer to the mic, please. You're next. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like... The dude wearing the wire is like, oh, this ain't worth this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 621. We still got half an hour. Uh, metal collecting. All right, how let's many fucking go for it. I, I did not count. I did not see. <laughs> let's just let's just get them all anyway. Well, you're not missing anything. It's just a uh, biggie talking. And of course, another ad. The first one is uh, in a hidden compartment. Once all of your delightful spheres of influence come out of the wall on the right. 
Hold on. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. <laughs> Oh, uh, Josh, you're not a sphere. What if I want to be? <laughs> you know, someone who's supposed to be psychic, they don't have a lot of foresight. <laughs> Is that an ability that I can upgrade? Well, yes, it's a two turn attack. It's based on your power. It's kind of. <laughs> oh, weird. okay. My, my apologies. I did not know that. You know, for Mania being in like Pennsylvania this year, I'm surprised Kurt Angle isn't I around. That's all that just happened. Uh, Kurt Angle was in the fucking. Um, the, the the wrestling convention nearby, if that's any consolation. Not directly involved in the show, mind you. Where the fuck did those balls go? They just disappeared. You destroyed them all somehow. Oh, at once? Yeah. yeah. Way to go. So yeah, where those balls came out, get yeah, in. Yeah, I see the glowing, like right here. All right, that's number one. I, I wouldn't think Kurt Angle will get booed in Philly. He's no, Kurt he Angle. would not. Absolutely not. I mean, I know he's from Pittsburgh, but I don't think that would be enough to boo him. Like, Philly fans were obnoxious, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, I think all he has to say is, like, I'm a Pennsylvania native and call it a day That's and it. should be fine. Yeah. Why, well, I happen to be independent myself, don't you know? <laughs> I'm something of an indie myself. I'm looking forward to June when I go for TMG and just, like, I'm finally here for Mania. What do you mean that was a couple months ago? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, uh, next medal, I guess. Uh, it's in this room. Knock down one of the statues on the right to expose it hidden in the base. I think it's the second on the right here. I might have gotten this one already, but we'll see. So it's not this one. It's the uh, one more. behind it. You missiles, give them to me now. Ah! <laughs> Get uh, idiot. <laughs> There's one statue. I don't think it's that one, but it's the one behind it. Hey Ben, how are you? Oh, I'm invigorated. Is it because you tried out the Apple Vision Pro? Yeah, vision into the future, man. It's Coming in a little low, I'm gonna turn Ben up a bit. Ooh, I can turn myself up. Oh, okay. And turning you down to zero. Careful <laughs> 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 what you wish for. Funny, Ted said the same thing. Then you got the town with no name of BSC. <laughs> oh boy. Can I not? I just want to shoot the statue right here. No, Silver, for fuck's sakes, my guy. Can you just aim the goddamn missile to the statue that I just want to knock down? That is probably a waste of time because I probably already collected this medal anyway. Well, there it goes. You did uh, shout, out, shout out to the name Anakin's Nightmare. Anakin's Nightmare? Oh, because yeah. of sand? Oh, OK. Yep. Yeah, you got that one. Oh, OK. Okay, number three. Oh boy, is it during the Amy section? Yup. Well, I mean, at the very least, it's straightforward, and I don't have to worry about psychokinesis. It's easy enough. It's just once you um, get Amy's first checkpoint, you go into that room near the hint, just go straight to the left, and you'll see it in the corner next to yeah. one of those two milk things. But again, it's something I might have already collected. Maybe, because it's pretty obvious and on the way. Yeah. So it's just straight left here. Well, let me take out these robots. Oh, no. I did not. Nope. There it is. Hi, Jen. I see you in chat. How's it going, Jen? Okay, so... Did you finally learn how to pull better in gotcha? Because, uh... I'm feeling great about that. What, gotcha? What is it? What gotcha? Fate? Grand Blue? Uh, Star Rail. I got lucky and got a double five star in one pull. So mm. I'm like... Neat. Never. I'm never gonna use them ever again. <laughs> okay. Uh, medal number four is in the big room with Amy Switch. Dan, how do you think my wife feels? She actually Switch. tries with that game. Big room with the Switch. Are you talking about the one that? Uh, it's coming up after with the door. Article. Yep. So it, it should be just in here. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. I think. 
uh, speaking of Sonic, did you hear about Sonic having an IHOP collab? How the fuck does this mascot not have done something with Sonic at this point? It's definitely this room. So if you head left here, there'll be a box you can jump on. Dude, yeah, and there's it another. It feels like they're actively, <laughs> actively not yeah, doing just, it, man. I think you already got this one. Um, I might have, yeah, because like it's on this like there's a whole other set of platforms here. Yep, you got this one okay. already. Okay, then we can just four. continue on. Uh, the door's over here. Number five is in the room with the multiple tiers in it. There's Amy. So it's the next big room coming up. Weren't people bitching about the IHOP collab being like locked to America? You right, take your immediate right, well, go straight down towards the boxes in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's well, funny. Whether it be the IHOP one, the Kroger's one, the go. Amazon Japan one, all of them are region locked. Okay, the next See, middle when... is not until you get control of silver again. Okay, so we can just continue on with See, the IHOP when Kingdom Hearts does when Kingdom Hearts does a 7-Eleven collab, everything's fine, but when Sonic does it, fucking people lose their shit. Well, because Sonic fans are of infinitely louder and more obnoxious. <laughs> But, well, I mean, yes, but at the same time, Kroger's? Really? Kroger's? That's where you picked out a collab. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like two ways about it because until I moved down to Georgia a couple of years ago, I had no idea what the fuck a Kroger was, even was. Roma? But since, but since then, Kroger has now appeared everywhere that I've talked about. And I don't know what the correlation between that is, because Kroger is huge. Like, isn't it a, a subsidiary of Walmart or some other shit? No, no, but it's like the Walmart of like the Midwest and South. Like, okay, okay. So funny enough, um, Kroger does knock them off. One so we don't have Kroger off. on the yes. west coast. Left to the back. We have Smiths, which is owned by Kroger. So we get the exact same commercials and all that like branding, except it just says Smiths instead of Kroger. Up the statue. Right, kind of like. I'm just wow, trying to see if I can break it with my regular powers and the answers to know. Shit. So it's the furthest one to the right. To the right. Yeah, you can see the metal glowing from it. Uh, which means I need more objects. You. Oh. Well, yeah, I think it's like kind of like a Carl's Jr. thing. But uh, they they um there there's an IHOP collaboration and you can get a superstar skin I think right. Like Amy in a like in a yeah, like in a maid outfit. I think it was. Does that fix the game? Oh, <laughs> no, but you can look cute in a maid costume. I guess. Yeah, Doesn't to fix the up. boss fights, but you know you're gonna buy it anyway. Oh well, that's convenient. Well, Shade, if you're watching, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's I next? Said that. I said Let's see here. So, we got the one there. Number seven is on the right side of this room at the end of the corridor on the right. You can Which means I might have picked it up already, but we'll check. Very likely, because it's pretty close. It's, to it's kind of in sorry, the way, I'm, yeah. I'm just reading like her waitress uniforms queue. I'm like, ladies, she, she's, she's just working a nine to five, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking leave her alone. She's trying to just get a check. Speaking of the Sonic collabs, let's not forget they did a partnership with a restaurant called Sonic, who makes chili dogs. No, that's what I was talking this, about earlier. In the special yeah, item, it was like what, a cheeseburger? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's like, it. again, like, that's what I was like, 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 how the fuck has this franchise have not done a Sonic collab at this point? Like, is it's it too so obvious? Those. Like, is it, is that what it is? Like, is it, is it too obvious? Is it too on the know? Who gives a shit? What, with the Sonic franchise? They did. They collaborated with Hooters. Before they collaborated with Sonic, like what the fuck? Alright, uh, number eight is in a pot in here randomly. I'm sorry, I came back and I heard Sonic collaborated with Hooters. Yes, it's in one of the corners. I don't well, remember the like, context for the the Hooters uh, collaboration. I was say, did like Rouge the Bat get a new costume? What's I mean, going on? no, but everyone that was an excuse for everyone to draw Rouge the Bat in a Hooters waitress outfit. You know. Well, I mean, we had forces where they did a Japanese collab with Hooters, where Hooters yeah. was just like sponsoring, or yeah. you know, well, like doing like sponsored a, shit, uh, like IHOP. Oh, they I don't uh, think new Al character uh, called uh, Honk the Hooter. I don't know. I, I don't think it can really count like Japanese like food collabs because there's like everything gets like a, a Japanese food collab. But still, yeah. like I, it's, it, it doesn't make it any less significant though, in my opinion. Just yeah. because you're not from the country that, that that like they're they're collaborating from. 
But I guess Japan's also more open to I doing collabs on this between line. different Only companies. Right. 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 Did you see NXT stand and deliver featuring Idris Alba? Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see Knuckles, though. The final medal is in the gold ring room, hidden in one of the pots. Oh, so I have to actually... There you know, Robocop and KFC. Fun fact, made cafes are Japanese hooters. Uh, I mean, I've never actively been inside a hooters physically. I've been to a Twin Peaks, and that food was fine. It's very fucking salt driven. Um, but I've never actually I, been inside a Hooters. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been to the Hooters Hotel in Vegas, but that's it. I passed the first Hooters in Clearwater. <laughs> yes, that's what I'll say. <laughs> I've picked up Hooters for my boss. I've had Hooters delivered to me from an Uber Eats order when I was in Georgia, and I remember thinking, this chicken's salty as shit. Mm, <laughs> high blood pressure. I think they did a special, like, no, I think there was a, there was also a Mother's Day special where, like, you take your mom and, like, you get, like, free, like, wings for, like, a whole day Please or something. Please don't some take sort. your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all for that fucking chaotic energy. <laughs> <laughs> Take your mom to Hooters. <laughs> See what happens. What did I'm not talking about Hooters. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about that? I kind of lost the conversation. I said they should make a second restaurant for the bombs. Let's call it Dongs. Huh? Oh, you're talking about like the, the male equivalent. Right. Wait, isn't that a thing already? I thought. I don't. I, Wait, I hold on. I might be misremembering. Is. is there not a male equivalent of Hooters, whereas in the the waiter the waiters are all scantily clad men? Isn't that just medieval times? <laughs> I love that the first thing Google suggests when I type in male equivalent is male equivalent of Karen. Is it? Oh, that's the intro. Oh yeah, it's called Tallywhackers in um, Dallas. Tally oh yeah, 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 Tallywhackers. <laughs> Tallywhacker is my favorite word to describe that particular part, not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, I do appreciate that because, like, they can play out the fact that, no, when we say hooters, we're talking about birds. That sort of thing. Yeah, we're talking about tallywhackers. <laughs> we ain't leaving it much to the imagination of what we mean by that. <laughs> Jacob Young in the chat says it will just be five guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's when you have five tallywhackers close to each other. Hey, I'm going to that's five guys. So what can you get for five bucks? <laughs> Laugh the out fucking out. building. <laughs> the Sani water. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather drink American tap water. <laughs> oh shit. No! Oh. I'd rather drink American. Now you see, I don't know why. So uh, someone, someone's have to explain this to me. And I think this might be the third time I've asked this question in different streams. But what the fuck do people have against Dasani? <laughs> like, why is that the bottled water that everyone just agrees to dunk on? It just tastes bad. Uh, it it like tastes it, like water to me. I don't like. I don't like spring water. Different so. waters is different tastes. I I, I I don't doubt that, but it's like water is water in the heat of the moment. Like I'm not picky. Well, I, I um, remember I'd when rather they had die. the. Uh, <laughs> remember when they had the hurricane in Houston? There was a picture from a supermarket where they were just clearing out Fuck. all the water, the except for like moment I missed it, I knew it was over. So I was like, wow, even in a hurricane where there's no water left, people still won't drink. As someone else put it, it tastes like nickels, but that just tells me that you put nickels in your mouth. And. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so Coca-Cola uses water from local municipal water supplies uh, and filters it using a process called reverse osmosis. And this, and then they add trace amounts of minerals, including magnesium sulfate, pretty much Epsom salt, <laughs> potassium chloride, and then just straight up table salt. I mean, but everyone John, has your that water's gonna give you high blood pressure. <laughs> And if that's not a bad sign, I don't know what the fuck is. 
go over the whole corridor. It also, it, it also doesn't help that, uh, I think, uh, like, no! it's No! Fuck! This game's physics! Oh my god, I'm sorry. What we're talking about, Dasani? Yeah, I was gonna say, if I recall, I think Dasani's also banned in Europe. Jesus Christ. I know it failed Why in Europe, I don't remember does... if it got banned or not. Oh. Tom Scott did a video about it, like, forever ago. I miss that man. Yep, you started the retirement trend. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Scott. Now we don't have Matt Pat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. This don't year get you does easy. seem to be like a fucking exodus for like your favorite YouTubers, like either going yeah. on a different career path or retiring in general, uh, and that sort of thing. You know, it, it makes you feel a certain way. Can the ball fucking respawn? Yeah, classic gamer. One retired for three months and retired again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gamers retiring is like a uh, wrestler retiring. They'll be back. <laughs> they Studio always come back. Has announced has a, has an announcement from Mr. Miyazaki himself. Hello, everyone. I am retiring. I watched Tom Scott's video. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Why is Miyazaki Italian? <laughs> Look. They didn't say which Miyazaki, they just said a Miyazaki. Yeah, you're the one assuming here. Why are you assuming that just because his name's Miyazaki that he has to be Japanese? <laughs> There's plenty of Italian people named Miyazaki. I'm a retire. <laughs> <laughs> just transforms into an old man sitting on a bench. <laughs> Mamma Miyazaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 oh, wrong hole. Fuck. Damn. That would have been sweet as fuck if that went through the actual hole, but it didn't. It went into the wrong hole. Also, we're putting the fucking circle into the square hole. Silver, you're stupid. <laughs> There's no why circle he, Why doesn't so he just carry the fucking ball? Stupid. Huh? What was that, Fonz? Why, why doesn't he just carry the fucking ball? He has enough, like, psycho power, right? Because this thing has, doesn't have its anti psychokinesis material on it. It's made of Dasani water. <laughs> I can't grab this with my psychokinesis because of the high salt content. Ah, but you need to use your psychokinesis to slap it around. Uh, and what what's the excuse that you you use your psychokinesis on the air to push it? Well, okay, <laughs> then just make a cup of air to hold the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why not push it normally? Then stop asking questions. Stop play uh, the game, and oh, then buy another the game. I see the issue. It's because the ball is woke. <laughs> <laughs> So is there a reason why John isn't going for the glitch again? Did you not watch the stream previously? I'm fucking garbage at it. <laughs> I am garbage at the door glitch shit. But when I was getting ready to, oh, when I'm getting ready to S rank the stage, I almost got it first try, but we still blew the fuck out of the S rank. But now that we don't have to worry about the S rank and we're just going metal collecting, I can just take my fucking time. And of course, when I'm taking my fucking time, the ball puzzle rears its ugly head and starts giving me all the shit again. Hey, uh, John, Green Lightning has a question. Yo, what's up? Is this Base 06 or Project 06? I'm sure you haven't gotten this question. Uh, I get this question every stream. This is Base 06. If I was playing Project 06, we'd be done like fucking 10 sessions ago. Because it's a competently designed game. Also, if I, playing, if, I, if I was playing Project 06, I would have labeled it as Project 06 in the Twitch stream, not Sonic 06. I'm sorry to call you out, but like it just happens every stream. <laughs> it does happen every stream, yes. <laughs> Dude, can I just like grab all these crates and shape them into a ball? 
Wait, will that count? I still have the tags for use your words. Yeah, I got words I want to use. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's nice. My wife sneezed. Oh, okay. How fucking dare she? <laughs> you hear that? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking I hell. I am living in Spain without the S. Like, oh my god. Like, literally without the S because it's fucking cucking me on my ass rank. Well, no, I'm not going for an S rank now, but still. Maybe it's an idea to post a sign on the stream or something that says this is based on six not project. No, I mean, but that, it's not that it's not that big of a deal. It's not serious. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just have a small like cardboard like paper that you can just lift up every five seconds. <laughs> but that will require people to read, and I'm surrounded by Yu-Gi-Oh fans, and we don't read. Oh, God. Yeah, if you want to hide information from somebody, just put it in a um, pendulum monster. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> You're a grown ass man. <laughs> Read the fucking text. <laughs> I really don't know how humanity has gotten to this point in life without being able to fucking read. <laughs> oh, because they have AI do the reading for them. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Honestly, the thing that concerns me more than anything is that I, I, I feel that. I don't know. Like, I, I don't. I don't want to like go too deep into this because I, I can definitely just come off as the, the old man of the group. Fuck me, dude. Back in my day, we used to read and we hated it. I feel it's easier now more than ever to have a complete lack of empathy for other people because it's 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 more fun to dunk on everything for the sake of chasing clout. If that I mean, makes sense, like I don't want to get I, again. I don't want to get too deep into that because that's just probably just the surface that we're reading and that sort of shit. But it's just something that kind of creeps in the back of my head every once in a while, where it's like empathy's fucking dead, dude. No, I, I no, agree. It's, not, it's uh, not a lack of empathy. I just think that humanity does not deserve to be here. <laughs> in fact, I wish everyone in this story dies. <laughs> it's like no, like I kind of agree. Like there was the whole Discord thing that happened, and someone talked about their experience. And like 90% of them was like, well, it sucks to be you, dumbass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how the fuck did you fall into this? You literally gave them your information. It was like, come on, <laughs> give the person some slack. Uh, Cisco, thank you for offering, but uh, uh, I'm not hungry right now. If I were, and you were going to pick me up something at Wendy's, I'd probably just ask for like the 10 piece nuggets. Thanos is right. No, Thanos is wrong. 50%, not nah. <laughs> 99% or 100. <laughs> Nothing else. In just humanity. In just you humanity, know. yeah. Oh my just god, did that humanity. count? Are we done? Did that go into the right hole? Uh, that's what she said. Nope. Where'd the ball go? On well, the sabbatical. Sabbatical. Subnautical. Subnautical. <laughs> you come to this stream on this Mania weekend and you're telling me that he should play Project 06 instead? <laughs> oh, fucking dare you. This one right no, I'm here. telling him to play Sonic and the Secret Rings instead. Game on one hand, there's an empathy problem for sure. On the other hand, if your response is edgy bitch, all humanity sucks, you're part of the fucking problem. From what I understand, the, the, the thing that I have to constantly uh, tell myself when it comes to encountering a shithead or another on social media, and this is not always the case, but for my experience, it almost always is the case, is that all of those edgy bitch lords that you run into are literally children. Like, all it takes is a simple look at their 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 profile instead of wasting time engaging a conversation in bad faith right because that's the thing you don't want to don't do that don't waste your fucking time just quickly skim through their social media like like profile take a look at what they like what they get themselves involved with and more often than not what you'll find out is that this is a fucking nine-year-old 
Yeah. Like, this is a nine-year-old that's, like, doing this sort of shit. And it's like, okay, that's that makes it a lot easier. Because now I know you just don't fucking know any better. Yeah, what you do is uh, go, through the, go through their profile, screenshot yeah. something, and just say, this you? Yeah. <laughs> and then they start denying it. <laughs> uh, the, the, the nihilism Reddit form is practically a take <laughs> Also, hello, everybody. You still at work? Nope, I'm at home. For once. I think your mic quality shit. Oh, yeah, let me bring it down here. How about now? Still now your shit. He needs to eat it. <laughs> really? How? Because okay, you sound like you're in a so. closet. Yeah. All right, how about now? Uh, I need more than just two words. Speak. Okay, then. Today, we're going to be talking about Silver the Hedgehog. No. Okay. Uh, Linky, what, what are your thoughts on the WrestleMania match between Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins? Who? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got that medal already. Uh, it was in one of the pots to the left of the ring, yeah. So. Yeah, um, I think we're good. Hold on, wait, there's a pot here that I did not break. My pot. My pot now, comrade. <laughs> oh, man. I really get get this arm reinstalled on my computer desk. I hope that was the last medal that I needed because imagine I have to do this fucking stage again. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was waiting for like, it was not loading for a second there and I thought, oh my God, this is it. <clears throat> this is how I'm going to die. Has the game crashed yet or no? No, the game has not crashed. Okay. For all, for all of its warts and there are a lot of fucking warts. I can barely see any sort of human skin on this thing anymore. All right, already more stable than Helldivers. Let's uh, go. It is. It's well, also I mean, more. It's also technically more stable than Frontiers, I've because Frontiers has crashed. Crash um, that's fucked up, right? I didn't mean that. Ah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, his, your heel arc is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, we have um, we have WrestleMania uh, happening in ten minutes. I was going to host a watch party over in the Subject Discord. So we are going to call it early here. Uh, I will be having a makeup Sonic 06 stream tomorrow, though, uh, right before I have to participate in Clark's 99 turn Mario Party Madness. Now, I'm not getting involved for a whole 99 turns because that's just insane. Uh, but I will be uh, a participant in 20 of those turns, I believe. And that is happening tomorrow. I think it starts my time specifically starts at 8 o'clock at p.m. But the game itself that Mario Party game starts early in the afternoon over at Clark's channel. Uh, speaking I think it of, starts around like one or two. Yeah, like one or two in the afternoon EDT. I don't have the exact time here because I don't. Uh, uh, I don't have that uh, the, the 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 promo on me right now. It starts at three three o'clock. Three o'clock, three p.m. EDT over at Clark's channel. Actually, uh, fuck it. I was gonna say if Clark is live, we can just raid him. But uh, I think he is. I don't know if he. No, he's not live. Oh, oh, oh. WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Why was this thing a song? Put it up, put, <laughs> put it, it up, up, put it up. <laughs> uh, I don't have, uh, none of my mutuals are online, so we're going to, uh, well, I don't see anybody that's online on my thing outside of, uh, I thought someone was Let's posting. Let's raid someone playing I, I, superstars. I, 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 thought I just saw 14. Send them to IHOP. I swear to Christ, I thought I just saw 14 porn on like the Twitch main feed. Like, <laughs> yep. uh, Hold up, uh, let me double check. Um, my buddy Kazan <laughs> streaming Zelda. Uh, can you post a link in the general chat? Yeah. Uh, he's, an, he's an old friend from the FC, so. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, was it the uh, one that the dude's just laying down? He's basically like a bunch of girls laying on top of him. It's Arthur's. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of mid. All right, uh, Kazan <laughs> Roken. Roken. Kazan. 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 Yeah. Roken. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag. Where's the referee? <laughs> Maybe are they a wrestling fan? Maybe they'll get it. No, but he'll get, he'll get yeah. a <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so because I'm my love, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more Sonic Six shenanigans and. Uh, I hope you, uh, for those that are joining me for the WrestleMania watch party, I will see you in about 10 minutes over in the subject, uh, the Discord, and then we'll have a, hopefully we'll have a good time. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, very soon. Have a good night, everybody.